Today we are going to see how to find kth element from the end of the list. So finding it from the beginning would be very trivial like if I want to find third element I will start from head and keep a counter. It will be 1 here then as I go to 2 we will increment counter to 2 and as we go to 3 our counter is 3 and it matches with k and so we print that. But if we want to print an element from the end of the list uh, then uh, it needs some trick uh, because uh, these arrows the next pointers all only go in the forward direction in the case of singly linked list so uh, one way would be like uh, first way would be to count the elements so just count elements and suppose there are n elements in the list so in this case 6 and let's say we have to print second element from the end so second would be first second so we can just this would take one iteration and once we have iterated through the linked list we, we will do n minus k and plus 1 so we can next time start again from the head and uh, keep increasing so so this problem will become same as printing uh, n minus k plus 1 at element from the beginning so this would be one method second way would be that straight away we uh, keep two pointers and uh, we know that we have to print kth element from the end, end. so we, we will advance one of these pointers so the difference positional difference between these two is at the moment 0 so we can increase uh, move one of these pointers by k steps like if we have 2 then we will move into 2 here So at time initially if we move n2 by k steps that is k is here 2 so n1 is here and n2 is here the difference between these two is 2 the position the number of dif positional differences so now we will keep moving n2 here so first we move it by k steps then after we have moved by k steps we increment both of those both of the nodes by one step so next n1 will be here n2 will be here so this is time how we are increasing so first time step second time step third time step and then n1 becomes 4 n2 becomes 6 and next n2 comes here and n1 comes here and now we see that n2 is null so we will stop so this position of this slow pointer will give me the node we are interested in so 1 and 2 so k was 2 so this is a very neat trick just advance the first pointer by k steps beforehand and then move them both at the same speed so when the no node that was leading reaches the crosses the end then the lagging pointer will point to the kth node so let's uh, code this print kth from end and we need a head pointer and we also need the value of k so we will initialize two nodes and uh, while k 
k is greater than 0 what we will do we will decrement k and also but it may be possible that the linked list has say three elements and we are requesting it to print fifth element from the end which is not possible so we can add an additional check here that if lead node is present is valid then only do this else we are inside this while loop that is k is greater than 0 so k is greater than 0 but the lead node has reached to the end of the list that is lead node has become null so in this case we can print that you have requested a bad number k is larger than and we will return from here otherwise we will keep making lead point to next and once k has become 0 uh, now we need to move both the pointers by one step till lead becomes null so while lead lead equal to its next and when lead becomes null lag will be the pointer that we are interested in so let's test this code so first see what is the list so we have this list of six elements so let's print a third element from the end so third element is two so the three is the first one first second third so it prints correctly let's print fourth element fourth should be one yes one two three four let's give it a big number uh, more than six so it correctly prints out that k is larger than the length of the linked list because the length of the linked list is six and we are asking it to print a value which is more than its length so this was also a very s simple problem uh, so this is how we will find out how to uh, print the list at kth position the node at kth position in the list from the end so thanks for watching and give your valuable feedback and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my contents thank you